this lovely stone, isn't it? Pardon? Oh, this lovely stone that I've Yes, it seems to be all naturally occurring here. Yeah, locally, I'm assuming. It looks like it's local, doesn't it? If you look yeah. at the stone here and... Located in rural Northumbria, in the bend of the River Coquette, Brinkburn Priory was founded almost 900 years ago at the time of religious revival. For 400 years it was home to a community of Augustinian canons or priests. Monastic life at Brinkburn ended in 1536, and local people continued to use the Priory Church for worship until the 17th century, and some of the monastic buildings were converted into a manor house. Although both were later neglected, in the 19th century the church was restored and the house remodelled, becoming the home of a wealthy family. They are. All black and white. The exact date of the foundation of Brinkburn Priory is not known, but it's sometime between 1130 and 1135. The founder or patron was William Bertram, Lord of Mitford. The founding community would have consisted of a prior and 12 canons. Initially, they would have lived in temporary wooden structures. William Bertram died in about 1152 and was buried at Brinkburn. And around this time, the canons started to rebuild their monastery in stone. Work would have started on the east end of the church, the most important part of the priory, and construction of the church took decades to complete. Located in border country, Brinkburn was badly affected by the warfare that raged between England and Scotland for much of the early 14th century. In 1315, Scottish soldiers sacked Brinkburn, forcing the community of 13 canons to flee. The Priory was soon caught up in the religious changes of the reign of Henry VIII and the dissolution of the monasteries. In 1536, the Priory was dissolved. The site of the monastery and much of its land were leased in 1538 to one Cuthbert Carmody. The buildings in the west range of the cloister, where the Prior's lodging probably stood, and also the refectory to the south of the cloister, were turned into a comfortable house for the new owner. Is cloisters? I think this is yeah, cloisters. Yeah, probably, wasn't it? yes. Oh, I like the bird, it's a little wren. Quite cute. It's quite impressive. Huh? By the early 17th century, the church was in decay and regular services ceased in 1683. Without a roof and falling into ruin, it was nevertheless still used for the occasional baptisms and weddings well into the 18th century. By this time the house, which had passed through the hands of various owners, was also in decay. like yesterday's yeah. walk around yeah. 
three five places in a row. Doing some support work as well. And the dripping water. Yeah. In 1792, the Brinkburn estate was bought by Joseph Hetherington. Shortly afterwards, his brother John began making repairs to the house. And when John's son-in-law, Richard Hodgson, became the owner in 1810, he transformed the eastern wing. Twenty years later, his son William demolished the centre and west end of the old house and rebuilt it in Tudor Gothic style and the work was completed in 1837. These wooden shutters are good. Because they boarded it over here. Yeah. The windows are quite high, aren't they? Yeah. Bits of wood sticking out of the wall. Yeah. To support it. I wonder if they had to take it all to conserve and keep it. Yes, well, as soon as it gets damp, I think it's uh, yeah. no good. Upstairs looks interesting. Can't get up there. It's quite a strong smell, isn't it? Uh, oh wow. That's Georgian, isn't it? That I think. Is that Georgian? Because this looks like this was the original front of the building look. Because you've got the old same mm. time as done there, look, this yeah. is arch. With that green on it, I bet that was originally outside, wasn't it? Yeah, I think they, they that was an cool. outside bit. I've had it on. And then it was changed into a more residential because that's just a window bricked up yeah. to give the wall the other side this is an impressive room down here
That's the sound of the river down there, isn't it? Yeah. Seen that bell? So we just looked in the book and it's the Cloister's chapter house. Yeah. And that where Through we there. see the outside. Oh yes. Is the yeah. Because that's unusual to have those arches. Oh yes. So this would have been the cloisters, um, Your theory is correct. They're all done to a standard design almost. The manor house. So that was a manor house. There you are, there's a cloister. That's those there, isn't it? Monastic buildings as they would have been. Mm-hmm. Very atmospheric though. 